Hey, Brian, what's up? Church, what's up, buddy? Oh, nothing, just sitting here on my lunch break. Gotcha. Did you see my last video? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was cool. That uh, Aussie guy from Divers Direct told you to go find paddlefish. Well, actually, he's British, and he's from Divers Ready, not Divers Direct. Uh, so, what do you know about Chinese mystery snails? Chinese mystery snails, uh, don't know much. No, they're everywhere. Well, there's a lot more to know to them than just that. Did you know that in certain Asian countries, people actually eat them? They're like a delicacy? People eat Chinese mystery snails? They sure do, man. You know, they ain't got much texture. They kind of taste like maybe a wet rubber noodle. I don't know. I've never tried them myself, to be honest with you. I challenge you to go find some, buddy. Good luck. Thanks, Brian. All right, all you rest and wreckers. Church here at Lake Hickory doing the Critter Hunter Challenge. Brian at Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina tasked me with finding the infamous Chinese mystery snail, also known as the Japanese mystery snail, the Chinese trapdoor snail, the Japanese trapdoor snail, or just mystery snail, or just trapdoor snail, and many, many other names. The scientific name for the Chinese mystery snail is, uh, Sibanga paludina chinensis. These snails will not be difficult to find. They're literally all over this lake. The reason they're so common is they're an invasive species. Their only predators are crows, crabs, and people who are willing to eat them. None of which we have around here. Trust me, I've asked. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Do you guys have snail on the menu by any chance? Sorry, I don't Oh, okay. Ugh, okay. oh, bummer. They're a freshwater snail native to Asia, but were brought here to California as an exotic cuisine back in 1892. Then in 1915, they were found all the way in Massachusetts. Brian has an interesting story about how they came here to the Catawba River chain. So back in 2012, we were asked by the North Carolina Wildlife Resource Commission to go out, search for, and document the presence of Chinese mystery snails in our local environment. Now at first we wasn't sure where to go out to find them, but we started noticing them stuck to structures, such as up underneath the dock or even on the poles that held the dock in place. And then we started noticing them on the structures that we had put in the water, such as the sunken boats, our training platforms, things like that, that divers like to go out and see. We started noticing that they were just covered in these mystery snails. So we started collecting them for wildlife, and from time to time the researchers would come by, get bags full that we had collected for them, they'd go out and they'd study them. But as time went on by, we started noticing the population was increasing very rapidly, and now they're all over the lake. And it's got to the point now where researchers have basically said, we've got enough samples, you know, there's nothing that we can do to really control the population of it. Although I will say that the mystery snail's population never overpopulates, they're reproductive, capabilities is just amazing on how fast they will overtake an area. Thanks, Brian. You know, we have got to stop bringing stuff back from Asia, my dudes. These invasive species, mystery snail, lionfish, kudzu, the unofficial North Carolina state bird. Towards death. The f is that? So that name, Chinese mystery snail. Why do we call it that? It comes from China, that's why. Well, while it is native to China, it's also native to Myanmar, Thailand, the Koreas, Japan, Vietnam, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Basically, this area. They also get the name trap door because they have what's called an operculum, which is a little hard piece that they use to seal off the opening of their shell to block out predators and contaminated water. You know, the fact that they do that actually makes them very useful for aquariums. Aquariums use mystery snails in the tanks because they don't overpopulate and when they suck up inside their shells, it's an early indicator that something's wrong with the water. The aquariums can correct the issue before the bad water kills the fish. Now, the most distinctive feature of the Chinese mystery snail is the black shell. The shell has about four to seven swirls and a little to no coloration. Now, the snail itself grows to be about two inches in length. As juveniles, they're lightly colored, and as adults, they get more dark brownish, reddish color. Now, they mostly can be found in the shallows of slow-moving water and the soft bottom. Oh yeah, that's a mystery snail paradise right there. Now, they mostly eat algae and whatever else is dead on the bottom, but they don't eat anything alive like fish, eggs, or plants, which is a good thing. Now, the males live to be about three or four years old, and the females live about five years. 
And for those of you wondering what the difference between a male and a female mystery snail is, I, I don't know anything about snail anatomy. I tell you what, if you can see the dick on this thing, you tell me in the comments section. Now, as there are males and females, they obviously reproduce sexually. I'm gonna see if I can find some snails down there that are... Now, according to Wikipedia, these things give live birth, but, uh, you know, I don't know why. I just have a hard time conceptualizing that. They look like they lay eggs, but hey, take it for what it's worth. They give live birth. So after a simple YouTube search, turns out Brian's right. People do eat Chinese mystery snails. And like most things that disgust Americans in Asia, they're considered a delicacy. Ooh. Also in China, they're used as medicine to help out with digestive disease. And you know, if you see these things, I imagine they look the exact same coming out as they do going in. All right, enough talk. Let's go find us some mystery snails. Now, if you've never dove in Lake Hickory before, it has all the clarity of an unflushed urinal trough in a football stadium, which makes it the ideal environment for our Chinese mystery snails. And just like boogers from a four-year-old, you can find mystery snails stuck to everything. I do have to say, their suckers get a solid grip. But to have gills, they swim like rocks. Ooh, that's going to be the thumbnail for this video. Hey, if you like finding weird animals as much as I do, send me photos and videos to post on the Rest and Rec pages. Rest and Rec is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right, the Chinese mystery snail. If you can look closely, you can see his operculum. He's already closed his little trap door and retreated back inside of his shell. You know, it says online these things are black, but this one's actually greenish in color. If you know something about these things that I don't, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. Also, if you have additional questions, feel free to reach out. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you like videos like this, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. That way you never miss a new video. You know, the other day I was watching some gameplay of Extinction, and I thought about how cool it would be if something like that existed in real life. And then I remembered, it does exist, and they're called Bryzoans. Brian, I challenge you to find Bryzoans. I know Lake Hickory's just chock full of them, just like the mystery snails. As always, church out.